Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, bro, Konami. This FTK will make people quit Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god. Absolutely unbelievable. New FTK. It actually caught Distant Coder at the YCS and he was mess mess mentioning it, but I didn't expect it to have this much play. I've seen it multiple times in Dueling Book now and absolutely insane. So I'm going to show you guys this FTK, this first turn kill. It's literally unstoppable. Let's get it. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And for all pendulum lovers out there on my Patreon, I'm putting in serious work right now to give you guys a one-stop shop for everything pendulum related. So if you guys want to learn pendulum, go check out the Patreon right now. Videos every single day, literally every single day, one-stop shop for pendulums. And let's get straight into the craziest FTK in the game right now. Let's go. Guys, this is gonna blow your mind. So the way I figured this FTK out was I was randomly chilling at the YCS and Coder comes to me and says, bro, you'll never believe what just happened to me round one. So he was playing an FTK, he was playing a zombie uh, punk deck that puts up a big a lot in the gates, but it had no hand traps. And he got literally FTK'd. So he's telling me about it, about Bish Balkan, and I'm like, what is probably not consistent? It's a one card FTK. It's a one card FTK and I queued up on Dueling Book Rated and I got to see it for myself. Just look at this. One Zay Amin. One Zay Amin. This card alone makes the full combo. One card FTK and this is never healthy in Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. I open, I have 18 hand traps in my deck. I open zero. Don't even think it would have mattered. He has three hand traps in his hand right now. He goes Chaos Ruler. Even if Chaos Ruler didn't resolve, it didn't matter. I have a replay after this showing you how he does it through two hand traps. Like, this FTK is absurd. Mills 4, specials, he makes Needle Fiber, he makes Gold Soger, specials Garbage Lord. Here's where it begins. He makes Math Mech, uh, Synchro 8, it's a tuner, by the way. Specials out the Chaos Ruler, he has 9 cards in deck, not that it matters. These two make Bish Balkan, and this is where it gets really sad. So the Bish Balkan effect makes it so we each get four tokens in the field, summoning, summoning eight tokens in total. And then this is where the FTK happens, where he just summons this to switch. Then he goes into this link two, goes into the rank five chronomaly. What this card says is target, uh, once per take a detach one extra material, target one face of monster your opponent controls. He's targeting Bish Balkan. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference in its original attack and current attack. The effect of Bish Balkan, it's originally zero attack, by the way. The effect of Bish Balkan is it gains a thousand attack for every monster in the field. <laughs> it is 9,000 attack right now. So this one card just inflicts 9,000 damage. I lose. <laughs> Absolutely insane. And the deck plays a lot of hand traps too in defensive cards, especially post side deck. So I look at my hand, I'm like, yo, my hand's insane. My hand's actually crazy. So I go Prosperity, I just go for three. I'm like, you know, I'll just keep this Ash to like stop him from playing. Uh, so I don't want to get FTK'd again. I go Fateful. He goes Ogres. I go Sangan. Go Almirage. At this point, he goes Gamma. I could have Ashed the Gamma, allow my Sangan to resolve, special a tuner, and I still have a Needle Fiber, but then I just Gamma the Needle Fiber. So I'm like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to let him Gamma that. I'm just going to, uh, uh, I'm going to Ash him later. I already use my normal summon, so I just keep Zayamine in my hand for next turn. This is fine. I'm like, I have Ash. It's fine. We're good. We're lit. I have Ash. He goes Ogre Dance. Instantly, I'm like, yo, I'm going to Ash this. The reason why is. I don't want him to have a monster on board. But what I just witnessed is a lot of level five extenders. And the way he does the combo is by a level one level five extender and a Zamine. So if I let him put Zamine on the field, he summons the garbage lord, which he has six of them, uh, which I saw his whole deck. He had nine cards in deck. This is what you do against any player. Game one, even if you know you're gonna lose, check their deck, like check their grave. He has nine cards in his deck. So I look at his graveyard. I know his entire deck because he milled like nine. So uh, I will ash that and then he just summons Zayamine and this is a one card full FTK. I literally like this is going second. He hand, double hand shot me and now he's just gonna FTK me. Chaos, he didn't even go, he, he didn't even go Chaos Ruler. But the Chaos Ruler Mills didn't even matter. You see that? This is even without Chaos Ruler. It didn't even matter if, like, if I had one more Veiler, I would have done it on Chaos Ruler. It wouldn't have mattered. He, boom. Summons, Geonator, switch. This guy. Crazy. Actually insane actually insane he has a replay over here that he sent me so shout out to mickey to the d look at this so he against ash and imperm he's playing despia he pulls off the full ftk against ash imperm he ashes the e-telly gamma okay game gg he has imp he has imperm on look look at this look at this look at this even if gamma was on the field it didn't matter it didn't even matter 
like look so let's say for example he chaos rulered with dirno and zayamin okay if he chaos rulered with these two and he imperm it didn't matter because foxy tuna come out then it'll be like kind of like the same result imperm no problem he just makes a tuner and he just ftks like actually crazy this is full ftk <laughs> konami this one card ftk will literally make people quit Yu-Gi-Oh. it's a one card zayamin and zayamin is like there's three e telly there's three ogre dance there is three zayamin so there's nine there's three foxy tune that's 12 there's so much stuff and he wins of course it's crazy the prosperity all that like if he played it but he doesn't and then this is his side his deck he was nice enough to send me his list so shout out to mickey to the d where he plays in the main deck he plays uh three ash three ogre three gamma nine hand main deck with a lot of defensive cards like drop wits lightning storm talents e telly's an ftk zayamin is an ftk ogre dance is an ftk foxy tunes an ftk this is 12 ftks in the deck and then let's say for example your zayamin gets valored you have three extenders in garbage lord three extenders in, in garbage ogre and it gives you still a chaos ruler and still ftk like actually insane so a big shout out to my guy here for actually making this really cool list and then uh the best way to stop this deck guys is you save your hand traps let him hand, let him play save your hand trap for the rank five but no one's gonna know that imagine you go first card punk zayamin you think someone's gonna think oh this guy might be playing an ftk you think he, you know what i mean so you just save that it, it's it's genius because no one's gonna think ftk when they see punk so that's why your veilers and imperms they don't really matter throughout the combo but in the end it does matter uh something else he, he mentioned is going second uh because garbage lord takes 2000 damage psychic and punisher going second becomes a win condition where you prioritize psychic and punisher which is very easy to do in this deck that is the deck that is the video absolutely insane ftk and typically when it comes to ftk videos there's a lot of master duel noobs no offense master duel noobs hello and they would like to know the names of the cards so i'm going to the names are garbage lord garbage ogre De uh, punk deer note boxy tune ogre dance zay amin gamma thunder dragon thunder dragon dark driver allure darkness emergency teleport pot of desires and then you have the side deck which doesn't really matter the extra deck is chaos ruler geomathic magma phantasal lord ultimatal bishbalkin omega punisher chronomaly number 33 Hope Harbinger, Shark Fortress, Zombie Vampire, Degda, Bujinke, Ahashima, Crystal Haku Fibrax, Geonator, Transverser, Link Spider, Link Rebo. I could move my face, but I'm sure you guys would much prefer to see my face instead of the card names. That's the video. Absolutely insane deck. If you guys love FTKs, I don't. Smash the subscribe button. But you guys love me, so smash it anyways. I, at least I hope so, because apparently 50% of you don't, because only 50% of you guys are subscribed. So that's a little wild. So let's smash the subscribe button, boys. And make sure to uh, also smash the like button. And if you guys love pendulums more than FTKs, make sure to check out the Patreon. Because on the uh, on the Patreon, we got amazing pendulum content every single day. I'm going to literally rejuvenize it to a whole new level. So go check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed you guys here. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.